Krishna, hello, Krishna. My voice is audible. Uh, yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening. Okay, so uh, any doubt in the last topic? You have done the homework? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, Krishna, any doubt? No, sir. No doubts. Okay. Uh, Hothvika, any doubt? Okay, uh, so Krishna, okay, very good. So Hothvika, you have done all the exercises as well as miscellaneous. And Krishna, uh, you also? Uh, you have Sir, miscellaneous, I think about uh, three or two questions are remaining still. I didn't have time to do that. I was doing some new so. okay. I would I would complete it sir, after the class. Okay, okay, okay. Not issue. So uh, we will do some questions of uh, three-dimensional geometry. After that, we will start the probability. Okay. So, okay. Please uh, try this question. Find the ratio. In the ratio in which the join Uh, Utvika and Krishna, please uh, try to do this question. Uh, yes, sir, my voice is audible. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, yes, sir, you have done the homework? No, sir, I couldn't complete the homework. Okay. Do you have any doubt? No, sir. Okay. Then, uh, yes, sir, please uh, start this question.
Uh, if anyone have a doubt, then please let me know. Sir, I'm having a doubt, sir. Can you answer this? Okay, I will, explain, yeah, I will explain this. So, uh, yeah, the question is find the ratio in which the join A and B is divided by the XY plane. So that means, uh, suppose we have this line. Okay. And uh, we have this point A. And we have this point B. Now this point A, this has the coordinate two comma one comma five, and this point B, this has the coordinate three comma four comma three. Now they are saying that this is divided by the plane. Now the suppose the plane is dividing this line at this point. From this point, the plane is passing like this. Equation of the plane is given. We need to find the coordinate of the point of division. That means we need to find C. So suppose the coordinate we have taken as x, y, and z. So we need to find this x, y, and z. So uh, Krishna, any idea? Krishna, Yusra, and Hothika, any idea how can we find this? Uh, suppose ratio, we have assumed k is to y. Okay. Now, what is the x coordinate? x will be k into 3, 3k plus 1 into 2 by k plus 1. Similarly, what is y? y is equal to k into 4, 4k plus 1 by k plus 1. And z, z is equal to uh, k into 3, 3k plus 5 by k plus 1. Uh, this is clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Right. Now, this point is here. Now, this point will lie on the plane. Or, uh, this point will lie on this plane. The, yes, plane the plane is dividing this line. Okay. So, the case is like this. The plane is passing through this point. And then it divides this line AB in the ratio of case to 1. So, this point C, this lie on this line AB as well as this lie on the plane. So, we can say that point C, point C lie on the plane, point C lie on the plane 2x plus 2y minus 2z is equal to 1. Hence, it will, hence, it will satisfy. Hence, it will satisfy the equation of the plane. The equation of the plane. Okay, so that means if we will put this point x, y, and z in this plane, then it will satisfy the equation. So that means 2 into, in place of x, we can put this 3k plus 2 by k plus 1 plus 2 by k plus 1. Then plus 2 into y. y is what? 4k plus 1 by k plus 1. Minus 2 into z. z is 3k plus 5 by k plus 1. And this is equal to 1. This is clear. Now you need to solve this equation. There is a single variable k. You need to find that. Okay. So, Please uh, complete this and share the value of k. Arishan, uh, you have just joined. My voice is audible. Uh, Rishan, please reply me on the chat box. My voice is audible. Hey, uh, Rishan, please try this question. I have already given the hint. And if you have any doubt, then please let me know. Okay. So the question is, uh, there's a line AB. The coordinate of A and B are given. And this is divided by the plane. This is the equation of the plane. 
So uh, we need to find the coordinate of the point of division. So we have taken this point as x, y, z. Now we have taken the ratio as k is to one. So we have find this x is equal to this, y this, z this. Now the point C lie on this plane, hence it will satisfy the equation of the plane. So we have just put this point in this equation of the plane. Now you need to find the value of k. Uh, anyone, uh, anyone still have a doubt? Please, uh, take. Uh, okay, Hospika, I will reply you. Yeah, uh, uh, if my voice is audible, then please reply me on the chat box. And Rishan, uh, please complete this one and share the answer. Okay, Hothika. Krishna, very good. The value of K is correct. 
Now please find the coordinates. Man, user, Rishan, and Nozvika. Do you get the value of k? Okay, yes, sir. Rishan and Hodvika, uh, you get the value of k. Very, very good. Hodvika, this is correct. Now please find the coordinate. And Rishan, uh, do you have uh, do you have any doubt in this? If not, then please uh, share the value of k. Okay. I uh, know you spell this is not correct. The value of k is 5 by 7. Okay. So the method is please take the LCM plus 1, open the brackets 6k plus 4, 8k plus 2, minus 6k minus 10 is equal to 1. Solve this. 6k and 6k cancel out. Next, uh, you have this 8k. And 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 minus 10 is minus 4 is equal to k plus 1. Shift this. So this will become 7 and this will become 5. So you will get k is equal to 5 by 7. Okay, Isra. So this is the correct value of k. Now you get the value of k. You just need to put all these values here. So please put the values and share the coordinates. Krishna, very good. This is correct. Both uh, are good. This is correct. Please uh, share the Y and Z coordinate also. Uh, no, this is uh, 27 by 12 is not correct. Please check the answer. Y is 9 by 4. Risha, do you get the answer? So this is k is equal to five by seven. Uh, Rishan, you need to put over here. So three into five by seven plus two by five by seven plus one. So this is 15 plus 14 by seven by this is five plus seven by seven. So seven will cancel out and you get this 29 by 12, okay? Vishan, in the same way, please put the point in Y and Z coordinate and tell me the answer. Okay. 
Okay, Rishan, I'm doing here. So y is equal to four into five by seven plus one by five by seven plus one. Yusra, if you get the answer, then please tell me. So four five, this is 20 plus seven by seven and by this is 12 by seven. So seven is canceled out. You get this is 27 by 12. So cancel out this, this is nine by four. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, Krishna, uh, this is correct. Hothika, your answer is also correct. Just cancel out these two. Next is Z, Z is equal to 3K plus 5. So 3 into, next is 5 by 7. Okay, and plus 5 by 5 by 7 plus 1. So this will give you 15 plus 35 by 7. And this is 12 by 7. So 7 will cancel out. So here I am writing this. So this you will get 50. 50 by 12, which is equal to 25 by 6. So this is the third coordinate. Okay. So uh, I hope Yusra, Rishan, you understood this. Please note down this and we will start the next question. Okay. Please uh, note down this one. Uh, I hope everyone has completed this. We will start the next question. Please try this. The midpoint. The midpoint of the sides of a triangle of a triangle. Are one five minus five zero four minus two and two three four find it find its vertices. Okay. So the midpoint of the sides of triangle are given. You need to find its vertices. Please write this question. And uh, if anyone have a doubt, then please let me know. Yusra, you have completed the previous question. And Rishan? Uh, if anyone have a doubt in this question, then please tell.
any doubt in this question? No, sir. I'm I'm trying, sir. Okay. Uh, if any of the students have any problem in this question, please let me know. I will give you three minutes. Any doubt in this question? Uh, any doubt in this? Sir, so, uh, you I am having some doubts, sir. Can you okay? I will cover it. So uh, in this question. What is given the midpoint of the sides of the triangle? Okay, Hotakar, good. Okay, so we have this triangle. And suppose these are its vertices. Vertices is x1, comma y1, x2, comma y2, and x3, comma y3. Okay. These are the three vertices. Now the midpoint of the sides of the triangle are given. This is B and this is C. Midpoints are given. So suppose the midpoint of this side is 1, comma 5, comma minus 1. The midpoint of this side is suppose this is 0, comma 4, comma minus 2. And midpoint of this side is 2, comma 3, comma 4. We need to find the vertices of this triangle. So how can we find it? We already know that uh, yesterday we have done a midpoint formula. Okay. So this is the midpoint of AB. Now, x1 plus x2 by 2, this is equal to what? 2. x1 plus x2 by 2 is equal to 2. So cross multiply, you will get x1 plus x2 is equal to 4. Kothrika, Krishna, Yusra, Rishan, this clear? So the vertices will have z coordinate also, right? OK, 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 I miss it. Yes. Z coordinate is also there. So this is Z1, this is Z2, and this is Z3. Okay. Uh, this is clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, similarly, if you will take this one, X2 plus X3, X2 plus X3 by 2, then X2 plus X3 by 2 is equal to 1. So from this, we will get X2 plus X3 is equal to 2. Let this be 2. Similarly, we can say x1 plus x3. x1 plus x3 by 2 is equal to 0. So we get this. x1 plus x3 is equal to 0. This is 3. OK, so we have three equations. We have three variables. We can solve these equations and we can find the value. So what can we do? Uh, solve 1 and 2. Solve. 1 and 2. Then what you will get, x1 plus x2 is equal to 4. 
and this is x2 plus x3. So we will write x3 plus x2 is equal to 2. Now subtract this. So this will cancel out. You get x1 minus x3 is equal to 2. Let this be equation 4. Now solve fourth equation, both one and this one, third one, x1 plus x3 is equal to zero. Now this will cancel out. You get two x1, which is equal to two. So you will get x1 is equal to one. Now, if you will put this equation in any of the equation, for example, sorry, if, if this, if you will put this value in any of the equation, for example, in equation third, we have this x1 plus x3 is equal to zero. So we can say x3 is equal to what? Minus x1. Now put this value. So you will get x3 is equal to minus one. So you get this value x3 is equal to minus one, x1 is equal to one. Now we need x2. So this is second. We have this x2 plus x3 is equal to two. Okay, x2 plus x3 is equal to two. x3 you already have minus one. So put here. So x2 minus one is equal to two, x2 is equal to three. Okay, Krishna. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, similarly, find y1, y2, y3, and z1, z2, z3. Okay, Rishan, Hotika, and Yusra, please use the same method and find the value. And please let me know if still anyone have a doubt. If anyone have got Y and Z coordinate, then please uh, do your answer. So if we just mix up the coordinates, the point like uh, we take the coordinate of uh, like different, sir, will we get the same answer? Uh, 
we will make that the coordinate means uh, so like uh, like you have taken right uh, in the place of um, 2, 3, 4 i have uh, taken uh, 1, 5, comma negative okay 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 that's that's not an issue okay we need to find the coordinate so this is your wish you can take this say you can take this say you can take this say okay that's not an issue uh what pika you get the answer any doubt what pika okay i will solve it now you need to find the y coordinate okay any of the student face any problem then please let me know now this y1 plus y2 y1 plus y2 by 2 this is equal to 3 so this will give you y1 plus y2 is equal to 6 similarly y2 plus y3 y2 plus y3 by 2 is equal to 5 so this will give you y2 plus y3 is equal to 10 next we have y3 plus y1 by 2 is equal to 4 so this will give you y3 plus y1 is equal to 8 let this be equation 5 this is 6 and this is 7 again solve 5th and 6 so y1 plus y2 is equal to 6 next we have y3 plus y2 is equal to 10 now this is cancel out y1 minus y3 is equal to minus 4 okay let this be a now solve this equation and this one y1 plus y3 is equal to 8 solve this this is cancel out 2y1 is equal to 4 so y1 you get is equal to 2 now put this y1 in any of the equation suppose if you will put over here so y2 you will get 4 y2 is equal to 4 okay next put y2 in this equation 4 so y3 you will get is equal to 6 this is equal to 6 so y1 y2 y3 is this so please note down this and then we will uh, find the z coordinate okay i will give you 2 minutes please note down this then we will start for the z z coordinate you try i hope i guess you have some network issue please uh, message me if you have any doubt in this one okay krishna you get the answer uh, yes i got it okay 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 very good Okay, then uh, we will start with Z one. Okay, I hope everyone has noted this. 
So we will start this one. Okay, yes, sir. Thank you. Next is we will take the Z coordinate. Now, Z1 plus Z2, Z1 plus Z2 by 2, this is equal to what? 4. So we can say Z1 plus Z2 is equal to 8. Now, next is Z2 plus Z3. Z2 plus Z3 by 2, this is equal to 5. So we'll get Z2 plus Z3 is equal to 10. Next, we have Z1 plus Z3 by 2 is equal to minus 2. Okay, we have to this 4 and this is minus 1. This will give minus 2. Now, Z1 plus Z3 by 2 is equal to minus 2. So this Z1 plus Z3, this is equal to minus 4. Okay. So we will take this equation. Let this be 9. This is 10. And this is 11. Now, we will take uh, from 9 and 10, from equation 9 and 10, we have this z1 plus z2 is equal to 8. And we have this z2 plus z3. Okay, This is equal to minus 2. Subtract this. Subtract. So you will get 7 minus z3 is equal to, this becomes 10. Now the next equation is z1 plus z3 is equal to minus 4. So cancel out this one. You okay, get 2z1 is equal to 6. So z1 is equal to 3. Now put this value of z1 in any of the equation, for example, over here. So you will get z3 is equal to minus 7. Put this z3 in any of the equation, for example, here you will get z2 is equal to 5. So these are the points. Okay. Please note this. I will give you two minutes for this because we have already wasted a lot of time on this question. Okay, please note down this in two minutes, then we will start the next question. And today you have a viva. Okay, so whoever the whoever the student have done the permutation combination, they will give the viva for 10 minutes. Done, sir. Okay, very good. Then uh, we will start the next question. Next is three vertices, three vertices of a parallelogram, three vertices of a parallelogram are. are 3 comma minus 1 comma 2 b is b is 1 comma 2 comma minus 4 and c is minus 1 comma 1 comma 2 c is minus 1 comma 1 comma 2 okay. minus 1 comma 1 comma 2 now please find the find the find the coordinate of the fourth vertex find the coordinate of the fourth find the coordinate of the fourth vertex uh, please try this question. okay i will give you uh, 5 minutes for this question please complete this in five minutes Sir, can you tell the conditions, sir, like for finding the fourth one, sir? So, uh, these types of questions, in these types of questions, we will use the property of parallelogram. Okay. 
Suppose this is a battle group. This point is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. Okay. Uh, point A is 3, comma, minus 1, comma, 2, x1, comma, 2, comma, minus 4, and C is minus 1, comma, 1, comma, 2. Let this point D be, uh, let this be x, can we say x4, okay, y4. And Z4. We have joined these vertex. I hope you all already remember a property the vertices of palogram, the vertices of a palogram, the vertices of a palogram bisect each other, bisect each other. Okay, so this is the palogram. Now, uh, the sorry, sorry, sorry. The diagonal of a palogram, sorry. The diagonal of a palogram bisect each other. I hope everyone remember this property. So these are the two diagonals of a palogram. These bisect each other. So what does mean by bisect each other? That means this point E, this divide this diagonal in the ratio of one is to one. Similarly, this point E, this divide this diagonal in the ratio one is to one. Krishna, this is clear? Yes, sir. And Vishan, Hothvika and Yusra, this is clear? Okay. Okay, Yusra. So, uh, Krishna, now can you tell me? Okay, Hothvika, good. I got your reply. Now, uh, Krishna. This coordinate is given, this is given, and this e is the midpoint of AC. So can you tell me what is the x coordinate of this? So we should use uh, 3 plus, uh, yeah, 3 plus negative, uh, 3 minus 1 by, by 2. So that will give us 1. Okay. Yes, sir. So this right, e is the E is the midpoint. E is the midpoint of AC. Okay. Let the coordinate. Let the coordinate of E be x comma y comma z. Okay. Now find take x. So x is equal to. Uh, let this be x comma y comma z. So x will be equal to 3 minus 1 by 2, which will give you 1. Similarly, y is equal to minus 1 plus 1 by 2, which will give you 0. Similarly, z is equal to 2 plus 2 by 2, which will give you 2. So these coordinates, these you get 1, 0, and 2. Okay, you get this coordinate. Now, E is also the midpoint of BD. So you have this coordinate B. For D, we have assumed x4, y4, z4. Then by using the same midpoint formula, please find x4, x4 y4, and z4. Okay. Uh, Krishna, Utvika, Yusra, and Rishan, this clear? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Please complete this and share your answer. I will give you three minutes for this. Okay.
Uh, anyone have completed this question? Yeah, Krishna, you get the answer. Now to one minus two and eight. Very good, Krishna. This is correct. Okay, uh, then I will solve this. We get the E coordinate. Now, now we need to find. We need to find x4, y4, and the z4. So we can say E is the E is the midpoint. E is the midpoint of E is the midpoint of this bead. Okay, E is the midpoint of bead. So that means one plus x four by two is equal to one. So from this we will get x four. From this we will get one plus x four is equal to two. So we will get x four is equal to Next, two plus y four by two. Two plus y four by two is equal to zero. So we get two plus y four is equal to zero, and from this we get y four is equal to minus two. Next is z four minus four by two. This is equal to two. So z four minus four is equal to four. So z four is equal to eight. So these are the coordinates. This is your final answer: one minus two and eight. Very good, Kothika. Yusra, this is clear. Yusra, uh, this is clear. Okay, very good. Then uh, Rishan, please complete this. Okay, and now we will start the next topic in the three D. So next is centroid. Please let me know if anyone has not noted down the previous one. Centroid of a triangle. Okay. Now, uh, anyone can tell me what is the centroid of a triangle? So, uh, where the medians of uh, like each side uh, meet together on a single point is called uh, medians very of each side of a triangle meet together on a single point. Very the good. Is called... Very good. The point of intersection of median is called the centroid of a triangle. So this is point C. This has the coordinate x3, y3, and z3. Now, if you draw a median, okay, median bisect the opposite sides. So we have these three medians. Then the point of intersection of the median. So this one, this is called the centroid. This is the centroid. Okay, let this point be D. So uh, we have taken its coordinate as x, y, and z. The coordinate of the centroid we have taken as x, y, and z. Now the formula is x is equal to if the three coordinates are given and they ask you to find the coordinates of a triangle then you will use this formula x is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 y is equal to y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 and z is equal to z1 plus z2 plus z3 by 3 Okay, so the x, y, and z coordinate you can find by using these formulas. Uh, please note down these formulas, then we will try one question. Then uh, please try this question. The centroid, the centroid of a triangle, the centroid of a triangle A, B, C is at the point, is at the point One comma one comma one 
if the coordinates of A and B, if the coordinates, if the coordinates of A and B, the coordinates of A and B are three comma minus five comma seven and minus one comma seven comma minus six respectively find the find the coordinates of the point C find the coordinates of the point of the point C okay so in this case centroid is given and two coordinates are given you need to find the third coordinate so uh, I will give you five minutes for this question please complete this in five minutes Uh, you throw answer is not correct. Please uh, check your answer. Okay, you need to find the third coordinate and the centroid is given. Uh, Krishna, very good. Answer is correct. Bodhvika, Rishan, and Yusra, please share your answer. Uh, Yusra Othika, do you facing any problem in this case, in this question? Rishan, any doubt in this one? Uh, no, Yusra, not correct. Okay. So, uh, 
the coordinates are given and the centroid is given. So we already know that x is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3. Now the centroid is 1. What is x1? We can take the 3. What is x2? We can take minus 1. And what is x3? We need to find. Divide by 3. Now cross multiply this. So 3 is equal to 3 minus 1 is 2 plus x3. So from this, we will get x3 is equal to 1. Okay, what we got? Okay. Yusra, this is clear now. Y is equal to y1 plus y2 plus y3. So what is y? Y is 1. What is y1? Minus 5. What is y2? 7 plus y3 by 3. So this will be equal to, uh, this is 2. And again, this is 1. Now you need to find z coordinate. So z, uh, we know that z is equal to z1 plus z2 plus z3 by 3. So we will get, what is it? z is 1 is equal to, this is 7 minus 6 plus z3 by 3. The why you why you answer are not matching? Okay, I will give you two minutes to note down this. Please note this, and we have completed all the topics of three D. Now you need to complete com, uh, the NCRT assignments. Okay, so please complete this, and before Friday, uh, send the pick of your homework to Nikhil sir. Okay, then I will check. I will check your homework. Okay, so Hothika and Krishna, any doubt in 3D till now? No, sir. Okay, then we will start the new chapter. Next, we will start with probability. Okay, Hothika, good. Okay, uh, Trigo we will do after some time because Trigo is a very lengthy chapter. We will do... Uh, Maybe after probability, we'll decide. Yusra, any doubt till now? Shall we start new chapter? Sir, we have to send like a picture of the NCRT solutions that we uh, solve it. And we mm -hmm. should follow and send that one, sir. Yes, yes. Okay. okay sir. And you need to uh, complete assignments also. Because in this chapter, there are very less questions in NCRT. Okay, sir. Okay, okay Yusra. So next, we will start with a probability. So in probability, uh, this is a very simple chapter, not a tough one. Uh, the basics we have already done in your class 10. So what is mean by probability? Probability, probability means possibility. Probability means possibility. It is a branch of it is a branch of mathematics. It is a branch of mathematics that deals that deals with the with the occurrence that deals with the occurrence of a random event of a random event okay the value is expressed the value is expressed the value is expressed from 0 to 1 from 0 to 1 Okay, so what is probability? It is a possibility. Okay, for example, if you are tossing a coin, then what is the possibility of getting a hit? So, probability means possibility. It is a branch of mathematics that deals with the occurrence of a random event. Uh, we will check that what is mean by random event after some time. And the value of a probability is from zero to one. So, the minimum value of probability is zero and the maximum is one. Okay, so I hope this is clear to all of you. 
there is nothing much to explain in this. Now uh, we will start some topics. First is what is a random experiment? Okay, the first topic is a random experiment. What is a random experiment? An experiment, an experiment is called, is called, is called random experiment. It's called random experiment. If it satisfies, if it satisfies, if it satisfies, the following two conditions, the following two conditions, two conditions. The first one is it has, it has more than, it has more than one possible outcome. It has more than one possible outcome. Okay. And second, it is not, it is not possible to predict. It is not possible to predict the outcome, the outcome in advance. Okay. So what is a random experiment? An experiment is called random experiment if it satisfies the two conditions. The first is it has more than one possible outcome. Okay, so for example, if we are tossing a coin, then what are the outcomes we have? We can have a hat or we can have a tail. So this is a random experiment. So any experiment which have more than one possible outcome, like sorry, in random experiment, the outcome should be more than one. Next is it is not possible to predict the outcome in advance. So for example, if you are tossing a coin, then it is not possible for you to predict in advance that you will get a head or a tail. Okay, so what is a random experiment? Where the outcome should be more than one. And second, we can't predict the outcome in advance. Okay, both Vika, Krishna and Yusra, this is clear. Then what do you mean by random experiment? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, Yusra, okay, Krishna. Okay, very good. So Krishna, can you give me an example of a random experiment? Krishna, can you give me an example? Sir, tossing a coin. Tossing a coin. Any other example? Tossing a die? Uh, yes, sir. Die. Okay. Very good. So uh, please uh, note down this and confirm me. Then we will start the next topic. This is a very uh, interesting chapter. So I will just give you two minutes to note this. Please come to me once this is done. Done, sir. Okay, uh, Krishna, very good. Hodvika and Yusra, okay, Yusra, good. Hodvika, this done. Okay, very good. We will start the next topic, which is outcome. Okay, outcome and sample space. These two are two different topics outcome and sample space. Okay. So a possible, a possible result, a possible result of a random experiment, of a random experiment, 
of a random experiment is called is called its outcome it's called its outcome okay what is the outcome a possible result of a random experiment so for example if we are tossing a coin then what is the outcome that we can get a head or tail so this is the outcome next what is a sample space the set of the set of all possible the set of all possible outcomes the set of all possible outcomes of a random experiment the set of all possible outcome of a random experiment is called is called the called the sample space it's called the sample space okay sample space sample space sample space is denoted sample space is denoted by the symbol by the symbol s okay so the set of all possible outcomes so for example if we are tossing a coin of or we are throwing a dice so what are the outcomes we can have when we throw a dice 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so these are the possible outcomes when we throw a dice so the set of all these outcomes this is called the sample space okay so what is the sample space it is a set of all possible outcomes whenever you you done an experiment a random experiment then whatever the possible outcomes you have make a set of that and that is called the sample space which is denoted by the symbol s This is clear. Both yes, sir. Krishna and Yushtra. Please confirm. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Okay, Hrithika, this is clear. So please note down this definition. And there is one more thing that each element of the sample space is called a sample point. Okay. Each. each element each element of the sample space each element of the sample space is called is called sample point is called sample point okay so as we have taken the previous example or if we will take this example we got toss a coin and we get this head and tail so each element of the sample space means every outcome this one this is called the sample point this is called the sample okay so please note down this definition then we will try some questions Okay, sir. Ah, uh, Krishna and who? Done, sir. Okay, okay, very good. What's the case, sir? What's the case? Please confirm. Two coins. Means two coins are tossed. Okay, what's the case? Two coins are tossed once. Once. find the sample space find a sample space okay please write this
Everyone has completed this. Yes. Okay, Krishna, can you tell me what's the answer? Sir, uh, S is equal to H comma H, and then uh, H comma T, and then uh, uh, T H, then T T. Okay. So we can write in this way, or what you told me, we can we can take a bracket, okay, and we can write in this. So this is your choice. Now, uh, very good, Krishna. This is correct. Okay, two coins are tossed. So what is the probability? Possibility in the first coin we get a head, in the second coin we get a head. In the first we get a head, in the second we get a tail, in the third we get a tail, and the fourth and head, and then the last one we get a tail and a tail. Okay, Yusra, Bhotvika, getting the same answer. Okay, Yusra, very good. Bhotvika, good. We will check next question. Now the next is find the find the sample space find the sample space associated find the sample space related to the experiment The experiment of rolling of the rolling a pair of ties, a pair of ties. Okay, please solve it. Uh, everyone has done the previous question. Krishna, this is done. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. What's the answer? So uh, S is equal to 1, comma 1, comma 1, comma 2, and two until six, six. Okay, and similarly 2, comma 1, okay? Yes, sir. And 2 to 6, then 3, comma 1, and 4, comma 1, and 5, comma 1, and 6, comma 1, and this is up to 3, 6, this is up to 4, 6, there's up to five, six, and there's up to six, six. Okay. Uh, 
this clear? Both Vika and Yusra, you are getting the same answer. Uh, Yusra, your voice is not audible. Please reply me on the chat box. Okay, Hotvika. Then uh, please start next question. Okay, okay, Yusra. Very good. Please start next question. Please uh, share your answer if anyone has. Can you help solving? Yeah, yeah, sure. So a coin is draws. If it shows height, we draw a ball. We draw a ball from a back consisting of three blue and four white ball. If it shows tail, we throw a die. Describe the sample space of this experiment. So for example, three balls are, the, are there. So we'll write B1, B2, B3 for the ball. And for white, we will write W1, W2, and W3. Uh, it shows we throw a die, and die we already know. So, sample space. Suppose we throw the a ball and we get a head. Then what happens? If we will get a head, then we will draw a ball from the back. So, head get, and we draw a ball from the back. Suppose we get B1. We throw a ball, we get a head. We draw a ball, we get a B2. We get a head, we draw a ball, we get a B3. We throw, we get a head, we draw a ball, we get a head, we draw a ball, we get a head, we draw a ball. This clear? This clear? So there are four white balls, right? Uh, okay, okay, okay. So this is H, W, O. Okay, now if a tail comes, then we throw a die. So for example, if we throw and we get a tail, then we will throw a, we will throw a die. Suppose we get a one in die. We get tail, we get two in die. We get tail, we get three in die, we get four. And this is T5 and this is T6. This clear? Yes, sir. Okay, both we can use this clear. Bhutvika and Yusra, this is clear? Explain it once more. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Bhutvika. Uh, Yusra, uh, three ball and five white ball, three blue ball and four white ball, we have taken like this, B1, B2, B3, and this is W1, W2, W3, and W4. Okay, the question is a coin is draws if it shows a head. So for, for example, if you throw a coin and you get a head, so how will you write? You write H. Then you saw what happened when you get a head? You saw, uh, if you get a head, then as per the question, what is the next step? We draw. You draw a ball? You draw a ball. Okay, so from these balls, you draw a ball. So for there is a chances, then you get a B1. B1 means? There are three blue ball, we have represented that as B1, B2, B3. So you get a head, you draw a ball, and the ball is B1. What is the next possibility? You get a head, you draw a ball, and you get B2. Next, you get a head, you draw a ball, you get a B3. What is the next possibility? You get a head, you get a W1, W2, W3, and W4. Mr. This is clear? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, now what is the next step? If it shows a tail, suppose you get a tail, then what you will do, you will throw a die. So you get a tail, you throw a die and you get a one in die. You get a tail, you throw a die and you get a two. You get a tail, you throw a die and you get a three. 
You get a tail, you throw a die, you get a four. You get a tail, you throw a die, and you get a five. You get a tail, you throw a die, and you get a six. So these are the possible outcomes. This clear? Thank you, sir. Okay, you're welcome. So I hope this concept is clear to everyone. Okay, so I will do today uh, till this question only. Uh, please note down the homework. Homework is NCRD. NCRD exercise 16.1. And sir will share assignments with you. So you need to do the first assignment. Okay, this is your homework. Plus you need to complete 3D if any of the question is left. Okay, so this one, now you have a Viva. I will ask five questions from all of you. So, Gautpika, can you tell me what is the section formula for internal division? Gautpika, you can unmute, okay. So, can you tell me what is the section formula for internal division? Would become my voice is audible. Okay, so uh, Hodvika, can you unmute yourself and tell me the answer? Because it will take time if you will write all the answers. The mic is working. Can you do that? Okay. Okay, it's not working, not issue. So I'm asking you the questions. Please reply me on the chat box, okay? So the questions are uh, section formula, section formula for internal division, for internal division. Second is section formula for external. Third is midpoint formula. Fourth is distance formula, and fifth is centroid. Distance formula and centroid of a triangle. Okay, please tell me the answer of these. Okay, and uh, Yusra, uh, just give me a minute. Yusra, uh, what is the formula of NCR? Yusra, voice is audible. Yusra, I guess you have some network issue. Okay, uh, Krishna, please tell me the formula in CR. Yes, sir. it's uh, n factorial by uh, n r factorial into n minus r factorial. Okay, what is NPR? Yes, sir. It's N factorial by N minus R factorial. Okay, if NCX is equal to NCY, so what are the two conditions? If you will say that X is equal to Y, then what is the next condition? Uh, X plus Y is equal to N. X plus Y is equal to N. Very good. Now, suppose if we have these two, three alphabets and we need to make a word. So can you tell me how many words can we form? Uh, yes, sir. It is uh, three factorial by two factorial. By two factorial, very good. And uh, can you tell me the rank of the word gap? Sir, can I take a minute? Yeah, sure. And you, sir, my voice is audible. Uh, I'm waiting for your answer. So, okay. So, Isra, uh, I will ask another question from you. Yusra, uh, first question is tell me the value of 3 factorial. Yeah. Tell me the value of 7 factorial by 5 factorial. Okay, 
so the rank of the word uh, i have found it, sir. okay so what's the answer so it's five it's five okay and see is enabled right very good uh okay krishna great okay if you wish you can drop from the uh from this call and please complete the homework okay okay sir thank you sir so okay, you're welcome okay uh yusra can you tell me what is the formula of npr So can you tell me what's the formula of NPR? Okay, very good. Then NCR. And then the third question is, tell me the rank of the word can C A N. Okay, uh, very good, Yusuf. Please uh, find the rank of the word can C A N. Okay, I think I got your answer. Uh, by two, this is a midpoint formula. Okay, and Hojika, uh, what about the section formula for internal division and external division? Okay, can you tell me what's a section formula for internal and external? And you in the meantime, please share the rank of the word C A N. Okay. Uh, rank is three. Okay, so we will check. A. So this is two. Now the next alphabet is C. Okay, then we need A. Then we need M. This is one. Just three. Very good, Yusra. Good. Yusra, if you wish, you can drop off from the call. Okay, and please complete the homework. Hudvika, uh, is it possible for you to write the form list? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Then please show me the section formula for internal and external division, and then the distance formula and the centroid of the triangle. Okay, Uh, okay, you are sending answers. Okay.
Uh, this is correct, Coach Vika. Then please tell me the section formula which we have done yesterday. Okay. Or uh, is it okay? Okay. Then please uh, complete the homework. And uh, next week we will discuss your doubts. Okay. Okay. Thank you.